Hey guys, and we're back. Right, let's continue. <clears throat> um, at the last, at the end of the last video, uh, I had to go do some stuff, and I didn't save it. I said I was going to save it, but I didn't. I was going to, but then I got distracted with something. I went away, did that. I was gone for quite a while. And I came back to find out that my Xbox had decided to auto shut off due to power saving. So I've just had to redo all of that again. In the process of redoing all of that, uh, there is a couple of snippets before this. But yeah, I realized that um, Rachel wasn't with Mike. Mike's some weird creeper dude that's sending her loads of mail. Uh, which is interesting. Rachel, uh, her lover, was the um, painter. And I also found another scrap of paper, which I've posted through the letterbox. Um, well, under the door, which we're about to read now. Which I found downstairs in one of the rooms. The one with all the leeches in the kitchen. Um, and when I posted the letters through the door as I came back up I heard a load of banging and shouting coming from Eileen's room but that quickly went away and I haven't been able to reproduce that and anything else when I went into the room that had um, Sullivan in uh, with the, the thing on the, the seat that we couldn't pick up I didn't notice him there. He wasn't there. So I don't know why. I don't know what I've done differently this time. But anyway, <clears throat> let's go read the uh, bits of paper. <sighs> There's a torn red paper stuck in here. Uh, oh yeah, I had a really wicked headache that day. And just collapsed on the bed. Maybe if I look near the bed in my room. 302's bedroom. I'll find it. I get headaches every now and again. It's terrible. What am I going to do? Look near our bed. Because these messages are from... What was he called? Uh... Joseph, who's the guy. Rachel, love you always. Watching. Window. Protect you with love. Mike. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. Um, yeah, Joseph was the guy that was in here before us. So... Is there like... A key? Down by our bed? Ah! There's something on the ground. Will you take it? Yes! Yeah, got the doll key. Oh yeah, and we got the tape. A key with a girl's doll keychain attached. 303 is engraved on it. Hmm. So, I guess we have her door key, which is good. Now, let's look through here, see if she's actually disappeared again. No, she's not there, but it's not actually saying anything. Right, let's go have a listen to Mike getting skinned. Which sounds fun. And on a lighter note, we have a new addition to the zoo. Last night at 3 a.m., a female baby tiger was born. And both mother and child are reportedly doing just fine. Cool. Okay, I didn't realize we could turn that on and just listen to things, but that's kind of cool. You put the skinned mic set into the stereo. Again? 
Get your ass out of here before it, you really it, piss me hold off. Hold it. Hold it. I think I'll keep that one for myself. Hold it. I think I'll keep that one for myself. The fuck? Okay. Not really sure what they were taking or. Uh, okay, that didn't make a huge amount of sense, to be honest. Kind of hard to hear what was actually being said. Uh, right, let's drop everything down for now. Uh, I mean, we don't need that, really. Alright, that's freed us up a little bit. Cool. So, let's go back. I don't know why, like, the health packs in this game are so stingy. But, never mind. So, we've still got some more rooms to check out. Did I save it? I think so. And I went onto the save screen. Fuck. Ah, it don't matter. Piss off. Fuck you. Yeah, we are in a different place to where we originally were. Right, now before we open... Yeah, that's our room. Yeah. Hear her screaming? That's similar to the noise she was making before, but she was actually like banging on the um Yeah, she was banging on the door as well. Um oh, well some somebody was. Right, let's go back downstairs. Because I wanna see what was on that chair. And see if he's there as well, because like was it 207? Because he actually mentioned um, looking for her. Or hoping that she's okay or something and we could look through the window. I couldn't do that when I went in there last time. Sure, it was this room. Yeah, because notice, like, he w like that, he wasn't there. This is the gun Richard was... Oh, Richard's revolver. Yes. Holds a maximum of six bullets. Easy to use with moderate stopping power. Okay, does that... T yeah, see, I can't... I can't examine this... This room. Like, the revolver's cool, I guess. Uh, but... Unless we have to go down here and look. Like examine this, then come back up. Then is he there? No, I don't know how to get him to appear. Okay, that's really fucking weird. I don't know whether it's glitched or um. Uh, maybe there's something that I haven't done that I did in the last video, but I uh, can't imagine what. Uh, right, anyway, so let's go back upstairs and start opening up the last few rooms. So we've got the revolver. Um, I don't know if that takes the same handgun ammo, or does it take different ammo? I don't know. Oh, there is no other wing. I fucking hate the map. Come on, just open the map. Uh, okay, so actually, there's only two. I thought there was like um, another set of doors, but I guess not. So, what's in here that. Ooh. Come on, game. Give me something. Anything. Ooh. Well, they're weird and creepy. Got an old school box TV. Damn, son. I had one of those at one point, I think. Oh, nice. You know what? Cool. I'll take it. Pistol bullets. I'm like... 
Ugh. Do you use the same bullets? Because we haven't actually found any other bullets in the game. We haven't found shotgun cartridges. We haven't found anything. Actually. So, I mean, that should bring our ammo up to 110 rounds. Well, technically 116. Um, so, you know. Right, anyway, let's go. Can we open our door? can't even open it with the key. I think it's locked from the inside too. Well, we know it's locked. And why is everything else fucked up, but our room is still fine? That's kind of weird. I noticed that when I was replaying this. Use the doll key. She dead? Thanks. Thanks. Did you find your mommy? This place? It's dangerous. You need to hurry. Get out of here. Yeah. She dead. So Eileen's dead as well. I thought I thought there was more to her than that. To her character. Really? Is she dead? I don't know what to think about that. No. It's my scrapbook. Everything in here is also in another copy I carry all the time. So I don't have to worry. Okay. I mean, that's smart. Is she dead? She can't be. Can't open the window. Yeah, we know that. Just look out the window. Eileen. And if she is dead, what did we do wrong? Heavy. Huh. Okay. So Richard is now dead. Eileen is dead. People just uh, just keep dying. Holy fuck. Well, no matter. We have a little nose in her room. So they took the victim to St. Jerome's, huh? Shh. Yeah, she's not gonna make it. She had numbers in her back, too. She's not dead. Walter Sullivan copycat. Round three, huh? Well, they never got the scumbag behind round two a few years back. Maybe it's the same guy. Oh, what if one, two, and three? 
Or what if they're all the same guy? What the hell are you talking about? You know Sullivan killed himself. The weird thing is, there were no clues. Crime scenes were always spotless. No fingerprints, no fibers, nothing. Just the numbers. Two, zero, one, two, one. I've been a cop for a long time, but I never seen a case like this one. It's almost like like they were killed by a ghost or something. <laughs> Silly. Hmm. And that Teddy's now looking at us. Um But Eileen gave um I wonder why Walter killed Eileen because Miss Galvin, who is Eileen, gave uh, Walter the teddy bear or the doll. She was the only person that was nice to him, but he still killed her, I guess. Oh, hello. Some kind of strange paper stuck here. Yeah, we'll take it. Ah, the succubus talisman. A card with some kind of frightening demon on it. Cool. Scrap of red paper. I don't think I can protect myself. He's truly insane. I can't hold on any longer. His power can't be measured. I was so scared today that I sealed off the back of the storage room. I wonder if El Eileen Galvin's okay. She has no idea what's going on, but she's in danger nevertheless. July 13th. Uh, okay. Need to, I want to know if that, if the handgun uses, this, or the revolver uses the same bullets. I've got a lot of pipes. I mean, that does say pistol, and then that's pistol bullets. It does say for use with the pistol. So I'm guessing that uses different ammo. Guess we don't need the apartment keys anymore. Uh, succubus talisman. I guess we'll put back. Right, well. Once more into the breach, dear fellows. Uh, uh, let's have a look outside. Yeah, and, and well, I don't know. Maybe she's dead because there's another handprint there. But, 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 that handprint is kind of faded. So, I don't know. The fuck is this? The hole is blocked. Blood, stain with blood. Smells horrible. Uh, well, I mean. <sighs> That's awkward, but like, is, is that good? Bloodstained toilet paper. Imagine you using the bog here. That'd be really awkward. Like having a shit next to this weird demon hole, you know? So. So our hole is blocked. And one second, guys, my computer's doing strange things. Um.
Yeah, we're still recording. Okay, my second monitor went weird. Um, right. Uh, so, that's all. One of the chains undone. Was that always like that? Totally locked up. Can't get it off no matter what I do. Okay. The dryer sprayed blood all over the place. That's fine, but that doesn't really help us right now. There's some kind of stain. Come to think of it, <clears throat> it also looks like an evil demon. Are you sure that looks like an evil demon? Yeah, not to me, it doesn't. Uh, ooh. Let's have a little look. Can we use the demon card, like on the wall or something? Make a new portal, I guess. Um, so, yeah, Eileen is dead. How strange. Like, I didn't think that she... We've got, like, four health items. Uh, I didn't think she was going to die. Let's go see if we can, like, wave this at the wall or something. Uh, don't know if we can use items in here, to be honest. You used the succubus talisman. Ooh. Four placard holders, I guess. What the hell? After he did the ritual of holy assumption, other worlds began to force their way into his universe and it began to swell horribly. But his universe is different than ours. It has limits. And in the limits of that universe, he rules as king. And in the deepest part of his kingdom is his mother. We talk about Sullivan? We still don't know anything about Sullivan's mother. Apart from the fact... Yeah, he was, like, abandoned by his parents or something. Because he's the creepy little kid that was found here and hanging around. Uh, hmm. Right, well, let's take these. I guess. Hmm. I wonder if we have to choose which one goes where or if they're automatically assigned. Uh... Watchfulness. I can't use that here. Well, there's only... can't use this here. Oh, okay. The watchfulness placard. Yeah, cool. That's fine. I was only trying to read which one was which anyway. Uh, is that that one? No. There we go. Noise. Source. And that one's got like that one. Cool. Chaos. And that one. Well, I guess it's got to be that one there. Temptation. Ooh. We got a new hole. Well, that's... Well, I mean, I guess it's... Expect I don't know what else would be there, I suppose. The hole. Where will it lead me to this time? Aileen, I wonder if she's okay. Uh, you, what time are we on? We only have like five minutes left. I'm not going to have time to do another video after this. So, But where are we going? So our hole has been blocked off, but we've made another one. Interesting. 
Pretty fucking creepy. Uh, okay. So, ooh. So, I guess we're in a hospital. Okay. That's cool. Can handle that, I think. Maybe. Fuck off. So we haven't been to a hospital yet. That's kind of a staple of uh, Silent Hill. And we've got Mr. Creepy McCreepo walking around. But which door did we come out of? That one, I think. And the map is proper distorting. Oh! <laughs> oh man, I've heard about... I've heard about these um, burping nurses. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What the fuck is up with that? Seriously. This is stupid. Uh, right, anyway. There's a strange human-shaped object. Uh, cool, I guess. There's nothing there. Emergency room. So, hang on. It's a bloody operating table. That guy. What in God's name was he doing here? So he's disappeared. So we've got a new enemy that just burps and stuff. Operating table, there's a blood stained cover on top of something. I don't even want to imagine what's under this. Hmm. I can't step on her again. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing here. Hmm. Okay, I mean, this is quite a cluttered area. I imagine if anywhere is going to be easy to get lost or miss something it's going to be here okay looks like we can search a lot of rooms so this is the office cool any goodies now usually you can tell a goodie because James will look at it there are all sorts of medical things here but I wouldn't know what to do with any of them yeah fair enough buddy Fair enough. Oh, what's that? Yeah, see, he's looking at that. It's a paper cutting knife. Yeah? Paper cutting knife. Originally made for cutting paper. It's hard to use as a weapon. That's actually a weapon. Oh, fuck. It's quick. It's quick. It's quick with it. Holy shit. Look how quick the special on it charges. What is with that weird janky bent elbow thing he does? Oh, dude. Well, okay, I mean, I'll take it for a test drive, I suppose. I'm not going to hold my breath on how good this weapon is. Um, there's a lot of rooms to explore here. Reception. Ooh.
Are you still alive? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it looks like... Oh, they attempted to stitch her back together. It's a nurse's memo. I lost Eileen Galvin's hospital room key. She was a patient brought in with severe injuries. I wonder if I left it in that other, uh, one of the other hospital rooms. I really hope not. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not saying she's dead, so... Oh, that just leads back round. Okay. I mean... We'll explore it anyway for shits and giggles. So that's fair enough. I would like a portal back. One of these rooms has to be a portal back. Oh, <laughs> you know, like this one maybe. Um, okay, cool. Right, anyway guys, so we're out of time. So I'm going to go back uh, into the hole, yeah. And save the game. Now I'm going to save the game this time. So I don't come back to uh, more lost progress. Yeah, interesting stuff. So, I mean, it's still up in the air whether Eileen's actually dead. Uh, it didn't mention that she died. So, I don't know. I don't know. Strange, strange stuff. I suppose. Let's go see if anything weird's happened out here. Mm. I guess everything out, out here is... I was about to say, we, we didn't come back through the hole, but we, we always wake up in bed, don't we? You fool! Yeah... So there she is. Like, unless she's she's now dead in the real world. But she's alive in this weird nightmare place and we now have a chance to save her soul. I don't know. But I guess we're going to find out. So, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, um, we're going to continue looking for Eileen, I suppose. Hmm... Yes, yes. And uh, I am going to look up if the revolver uses different ammo. I'm going to say yes, it does. But I'm going to go check to make sure anyway. So, uh, as always, guys, till next time.